What up everybody? So we are back in the gym today. We are gonna hit a little bit of front squat action. Um, this is mainly actually to help with log, right? So front squatting, a lot of upper back strength, obviously quads and, uh, and some posterior chain as well, but really focusing on keeping that upper back tight, staying upright. I like to do front squats using actually deadlift straps around the bar. We'll show you how to do that. Actually mimics the log uh, rack position really well. So kind of using front squats as an accessory to log since we do have log cleaner press for reps coming up at World's Strongest Man. Then we're gonna head into the back side of the gym and hit a little bit of uh, strongman fun. So we're gonna do a farmer's walk sandbag medley. Um, you know, again, like we have some of the events for Worlds, we don't have exact specifics as of yet. So really just trying to play around with some things to have a little bit of fun. Uh, luckily, training's been going really well. Logs getting better. Did some stones this past weekend for the first time in about a year. They felt great. So luckily, everything's starting to roll. Uh, we're only about five weeks out, so it's really uh, crunch time now. So we're gonna get rocking and rolling on some front squats and have some fun doing some strongman stuff. All that back squat training for the Arnold, I forgot what it's like to front squat again. I don't know if I like it. so annoying because I press this overhead with no problem but front squatting it feels like a million pounds. It's dumb. Probably this will be my, so that was 315. I'll probably just go 405 now and not go any heavier than that. My quads feel spicy from CrossFit stuff that I've been doing. Well we did a workout yesterday for CrossFit and the <laughs> I think the total number of reps in the workout I did was like 462 in 20 minutes and it was 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Round one was deadlifts, round two was shoulder to overhead, round three was lateral jump overs the bar, and then round four was handstand push-ups. And then you repeated that five times, so it was 20 minutes total. And it was like, everything was light, right? So because you know, the deadlifts and the shoulder to overhead were only 115 pounds. So I think my first round of deadlifts in 30 seconds, I got 38 reps. Shoulder to overhead, I was getting, you know, that 28 to 30 range. Jumping is hard when you're 285 pounds. So I was still getting like between almost 30, like 30 to 40 reps on that. And then the handstand push-ups after the shoulder to overhead, I would hit like five to eight each round in that 30 seconds. And that was the last round. It was the last exercise. I kicked up into the handstand and my left tricep, it was like, honestly, it felt like slow motion. Just slowly <laughs> was giving out. I was like, okay, I guess we're not doing that last round. But because of all that, like quads are a little, they're feeling it today. But I will say like, I lo like the CrossFit stuff's fun. They're keeping me in shape, keeping my conditioning up. Um, if we can get that guy behind the camera up, early enough one day, because Joe, Joe and I go at 6 a.m., we'll, we'll do a little CrossFit workout one morning. That's about all I got.
Thanks, dude. Bro, that was seriously so I fucking impressive, it. dude. That Thank was you. Awesome. And a perfect weight selection also. That was like, that looks about perfect for that yeah, third we, attempt. We played it really smart. Yeah. Um, we initially had, we were going to go almost 970. Yeah. But then when we found Martins put in his attempt, the goal was just to beat him. Yeah, so there you go, dude. That's knew, fucking awesome. Camp was going to run away with it, so. Yeah, yeah, nothing you can do about that, but, yeah. dude, that was absolutely incredible. I Thanks, thought that was awesome. I appreciate it. Uneventful lift, nothing exciting, just getting the work done. So far when you're standing here and looking down, it's almost like, uh, since we were just talking about golf, you know when you're standing on the tee box and you're looking at the green and it looks so far away, yeah. and then when you're standing on the green, look back at the tee box and you're like, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, there's nothing more defeating. That's how this feels right now. <laughs> Except when you get down to that end, it still feels just as far. Yeah. Now. Strongman warm up. I'm just gonna pick these up <laughs> and then load more weight on them. <laughs> and we're warm. <laughs> you probably wear chalk. Use some chalk. Felt a little slippy. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> really don't want to do this. Why do I do this sport again? <laughs> it's fun sometimes. Like when I'm not doing this stuff. So a little farmer's sandbag medley. Um, so we're gonna go, it's 300 pounds a hand for farmers, then a 300 pound sandbag. So farmers down, run back, grab the sandbag, bring it down that way. Probably just do this twice. I was mentioning it a bit earlier, so I'm dealing with some gnarly plantar fasciitis right now. Um, so in terms of volume for my moving events, I'm just trying to do just enough to get the work in but really not too much to make it debilitating. You know, it is to the point where every step I take, my foot and heel just hurt. Fortunately, I have a fabulous husband at home that's helping me, um, you know, doing, you know, cross friction massage, Graston, working on it every night. I'm wearing a stretch sock at night, um, you know, anti-inflammatory gel, stuff like that. But with what we're doing, obviously, uh, it's not going to get better that easily or that quickly. So it's something I'm just dealing with. So we'll do two good runs here. My goal here is just moving quickly, efficiently, and not trying to be too winded. I probably still will be. Um, but yeah, so 300 pound farmers, 300 pound sandbag. We'll go down, take a little break, do it again, and uh, see how we're feeling after that. Probably should take my belt off. Almost passed out on a sandbag carry. That'd have been cute. Tell you what, CrossFit conditioning, strong conditioning, two very different things. Moving lightweight really fast, 
for a longer period of time is getting pretty easy. Moving heavy weight really fast, short period of time, still really sucks. So, try to cover here a couple more minutes and we'll hit that again. Uh, like my my hamstring and glutes just disappeared on that sandbag carry they're like nope we're not here today <laughs> bye oh. all right and nice little morning workout done nothing too wild front squats up to like 405 a couple sets of five and then a little farmer sandbag medley um tired today you know it's as i mentioned a little bit before doing crossfit three to four times a week in the morning helping helping with the conditioning and honestly it's been great um not used to training heavy in the morning so that's a little bit of a wake up and then also just work you know i still work full time as an athletic trainer at a high school so spring sports are in full swing so having games doing all that game coverage stuff like that plus all the other little projects i have going on so but overall really happy with it just got a nice little sweat and got some work and nothing was too heavy Got just the right amount of stimulus to uh, to work hard a little bit. So feeling pretty good. Really happy with it. I'm getting on a plane tomorrow. That's Wednesday. To uh, head out to LA, do a little work with Gymshark, which is going to be a lot of fun. With some of the other Gymshark athletes like Jamal Browner, Noah Olson. Uh, it's going to be super fun training with them this week. So excited to do that. And uh, yeah, then come back and get back on the grind, get ready for World's Strongest Man. So. Really quick, um, make sure you're on the lookout for my children's book titled Strong, coming out on May 10th. It's available for pre-order right now. I'll put the description down below, or the uh, link down below in the description. Very excited for this book to come out. Uh, you know, having a children's book is pretty iconic. So super excited for this project to get released to the world. So that'll be available. It's online at amazon.com, as well as it'll be available in stores on May 10th at Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, and anywhere else you can buy books. As always, check out my sponsors down in the description below. And until next time, peace out.